On the fourth day of tags back, Smith's my welcome gift to thee. The Nerf 1996 Perceptor from the Cyber Strike Line. You wish you were as cool as this kid. Prepare yourself for the ultimate transformation. Nerf Cyber Strike Gear transforms you into the ultimate battle ready action hero. Become Defender T3. Three in one system clips to belt for rapid activation. Converts to Cyber Ball and Battle Blaster. Now, engage Perceptor. Tracking gear adapts for multi directional targeting. And unleash Strong Arm. Specially fitted launchers that deploys into attack mode. Ultimate transformation. Ultimate firepower. Nerf Cyber Strike Gear. Eat sold separately. Prepare for transformation. Now, seriously, could you imagine waking up like Christmas morning and just having all of the Nerf Cyber Strike line underneath the tree waiting to be equipped by you? Well, it never happened to me, but let me know if you hold that distinct memory, because otherwise I just get to be a sad old man in a Christmas hat reviewing it way too far in the future for people on the internet which was a pipe dream in 1996. Yes, the Cyber Strike line, that line from Nerf where they made a whole bunch of really weird blasters that were also absolutely awesome and I would love to have them today. In fact, I do have most of them today. The Perceptor is kind of the weirdest one though. It's not the most desirable by any means, but it's definitely cool because it's Nerf armor. You know what time it is. Time to hit that Nerf wiki. The Perceptor is a Nerf blaster that was released in the fall of 1996 under the Cyber Strike Gear series. The Perceptor is the only Nerf weapon to ever attach to a human body part other than an arm. Like the strong arm or auto grip or wrist, like the wrist blitzer and the Spider-Man vs. Venom blaster. Instead, it was designed to attach to the user's head and chest area. The blaster itself was attached to the torso, which was then connected to the barrel attached to their head. While the Perceptor itself could only hold one dart at a time, there was an ammunition holder located on the body of the setup. It was invented by Michael Moore and Robert Brown. Prior to the release of the blaster, the patent for it was filed on August 29th, 1996. The patent was later awarded on February 10th, 1998. To reload the Perceptor, simply place a dart in the blaster's muzzle and pull back on the red priming rod. Remember to place all the proper parts on the user's body. So I get asked all the time what blaster this is because nobody really knows. It's like a like a jolt thing, right? Like it's a, it's the original Nerf jolt. And I think that was a piece of plastic that just flew out of this thing or a cobweb or something. But this is actually the one part to the Perceptor that a lot of people have found and have no idea what it is. So this is the firing mechanism to the Perceptor. This is the rest of the crap that goes with it. There's a lot to unbox here. It's like one of those Common Rider things where they have all these magical names for all the parts of the Common Rider suit, but uh, this is the Perceptor Perceptor, and it's got a it's got a thing here with a with a mirror and like a like a crosshair that like will slide out like that, and it, it mounts on your head, which I have to uh, take the Santa hat off for a little bit. I, I'm I'm warning you right now. This is your last chance to click off this video until you see a grown man, grossly overweight, put on something meant for like an eight year old. All of that is connected to this tube and this chest plate which is where you lock in your thing. You put it in like that, it's got a little locking thing and it's, it's locked into place and that actually seals into the barrel. It will work either way. However, to fire it, that means the air pressure from this jolt is going up through this tube to your head. It's, uh, it's gonna be some wild performance. Then you take this thing and put it through like that. It's all, it's all adjustable. You imagine uh, there's a couple people out there wanting to uh, see me wearing nothing but this. Uh, we got our, our dart holder and then you don the headpiece of the Perceptor. My head is way too big for this kind of stuff. And just like that, your perception has increased. Too bad your speech just went down the toilet. So I can only assume that this mirror, which is honestly really clear, dis despite the fact that it's like a toy and it's decades old, is uh, supposed to view behind you. And then the crosshair, I, this, <laughs> this, this isn't working for me, but that's, that's not the most important part. The most important part is the actual blaster mechanism. This, is your new trigger for your Perceptor. But I've tried this with two different Perceptors now because I have parts and pieces to two of them besides the headset. And it's like really finicky to get this thing to catch because the bottom of this is actually what it catches on, which is garbage. 
you got to kind of like hold this like this. You can see my problem here. So for the sake of argument, I'm just going to hold it tightly like that. But then we take our old school Nerf Mega Dart and we find the barrel on our head. Uh, oh, 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 there we go. We can somewhat aim the thing. And uh, then we just slap this or just let go of this because this thing just doesn't even work. I fired better than I thought it would. I mean, I feel like the angry video game nerd at this point, but uh, what were they thinking? Well, I think they were just thinking of how cool this thing would be to have a blaster that's like mounted on your head, which is honestly a concept that Nerf should explore way more frequently. Actually, the entirety of the Cyberstrike gear, I don't know about all of you out there, but I would absolutely love to have this remodeled for space year 2023. As for how practical it was back in the day, I mean, it is kind of cool to have a loaded ready shot that's strapped to your chest that fires from your head so you can quickly look in a direction and fire a dart or something like that, which I mean, it has its uses and it would still go a couple of feet, but the whole point is you have the entire Cyber Strike gear line to back you up. Things like the auto grip in one hand, the strong arm in the other, and don't forget about your Defender T3 at your waist, ready to let loose a rocket or a mega dart. And all these things combined make you into the perfect tagging machine. But the Perceptor was the heart of it all. And really, there's nothing else quite like this. Honestly, it's kind of amazing I could even squeeze this thing around my tubby body, but it is super weird feeling to have official Nerf armor. And somebody bought this in Toys R Us for a grand total of $18. So what does that offer you today? Well, uh, considering the fact that this thing doesn't catch without this red piece right here, and I'm already having trouble getting it to catch under the standard spring load, yeah, you could probably modify it, but you probably don't want to. The blaster itself could very easily be used for a variety of things. It's a pretty standard jolt-like blaster. You don't even need to have all this extra stuff on it. Yes, you could rebarrel this for short darts and you could get some good performance, but then you'd be destroying something that, quite honestly, is way too lovely. And this stuff is already all kind of cracked and broken in places, so you probably wouldn't want to mess with that. But I am surprised how good this orange tubing has held up over the years. It's not cracked, it's not kinked, it, it works completely fine. Honestly, it might outlive me. I gotta say though, the mirror, I'm surprised how good that works. And that could be a useful thing in ye old nerf battle. Cause you can see behind you what you normally can't do. It's like playing Goldeneye on the N64 and screen peeking. The little reticle thing, uh, you can't really move it all that much. So quite frankly, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty garbage. And the shot doesn't go anywhere near where this crosshair is. And uh, yeah, that's, that's the Perceptor. Uh, very cool, uh, probably completely worthless today, but you could have fun with it, and that's probably the most important thing. And now, like the Dragon Balls, I have to get out there to get every single piece. But until then, I'm gonna put this beautiful thing back in its package and put it back on the wall behind me, and it will live there until somebody else wants to try to put this thing on. Uh, I don't know why they'd want to, but I have it just in case. The ultimate Halloween costume. And quite honestly, I wanna know what happened to this kid? Where is he at now? What are they doing? And does he still feel as cool as the day he put on and modeled all of the Nerf Cyber Strike gear? But that's all I've got for you. I'm Walk my 7 Thank you very much for watching this video. Chances are if you got to the end, you like what if you're here, so please hit like, get subscribed, ring the bell, leave a comment, do all that algorithm garbage to help our channel grow so you can help our hobby grow. This is day four in the series of Tags Backsmiths, and there will be a new video tomorrow. So until then, don't let your memes be dreams, but you'll never be as cool as the Cyber Strike Gear Kid. And of course, I hope to see you in tomorrow's video.